morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading. Oh, I forgot to check the date. Um, the third? I'm so blind. March 3rd. March 3rd. I can't wait till tomorrow so I can see March 4th. All right, your reading for March 3rd, 2022. Please show me what everyone needs to know, hear, or see. Thank you. All right. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. Whoa. First card out is the tower um, in the upright. So something is being exposed. The lid is coming off of something um, and the light is coming out. It's like there's um, the top of that tower is popping off like the crown. It looks like a crown that's popping off. And it actually looks like there's lightning coming from the inside of the tower. Um, something just made me think of Tesla. So this could be a breakthrough. I'm not seeing this as negative. I'm not. Um, I'm seeing it. It could be negative for somebody, but I'm not feeling like it's negative overall. No, 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 no. It is not time to pull the tablecloth off, guys. Okay. Been calling them the bandits. All right, your next card is the page of cups in the reverse. So there's a lack of love. Um, there's also, because I always see this as a like a wave, a tidal wave. Um, if this was in the upright, I would see this as like an earthquake and a tsunami, but it's in the reverse, so it feels like Maybe that was like a plan that didn't work. Something is being exposed and something is being um, the opposite of a tsunami. Something is not going, something's being um, extinguished. Like what I was feeling the other day in a reading, something's being extinguished. Um, instead of something going out, something's going in something's imploding instead of exploding all right the world in the reverse in your strength fears and feelings the world in the reverse something is not working um something is not complete something is not coming together something is open and that's in someone's strength fears and feelings and it could be in the mind of a mastermind. Like there's a mastermind that, well, they're getting some kind of divine intervention going right into the core of them. There's, this is in the heart of the wheel. And it's changing their heart over here. That some, it, they could be very, very sad. They could be emotionally immature. Um, somebody could be having a self-realization about their emotional immaturity as well. And they could be something about, um, like sad that something didn't work, but then a brainwave at the same time. I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes I give these people too much credit, I think. All right, in inspiration, or sorry, in intuition, you have the six of pentacles in the reverse. So that's unequality. That is um, something um, being way too much on one side than the other. Um, I'm seeing a landslide. I'm seeing, I'm seeing so many things and I don't know how to verbalize it, but there's a landslide in someone's intuition, but it's, it's someone realizing that something isn't working, that they are under the landslide. That's them realizing this. Someone is waking up to some kind of shocking news that is going to make them very upset or disappoint disappointed or sad, um, that something is not complete, something didn't get done. Um, and they're now under some kind of avalanche of debt or, I don't know, I don't know. 
Someone's buried under something. But it feels like it's the bad guys. It's somebody that, if somebody was planning something catastrophic, they're trapped in it. Whatever it is, it went off on them. Um, okay, in the conclusion, you have the two of coins in the upright. That is something, well, the first thing I saw in that card was the eternity symbol. Um, it's juggling, it's imbalance, someone trying to balance something, somebody confused, somebody, and it's right beside that Tesla, that, whew, I just heard nu nuclear. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a malfunction, but it's inward. It's inside something. Making a choice. Somebody's making a choice. And they either changed their mind or they didn't do it right. And it came back on them. So now, in conclusion, they're confused. And they don't know what to do now. In the near future, you have karma in the upright making better choices. Someone is redirecting. Someone is realizing they were burying themselves in some kind of bad karma even. Like this all looks like bad karma, really. Um, someone's having some kind of eureka, eureka moment and they, they're making some kind of change. They're making a decision. It's also regret about previous... They could be leaving something behind. They could be... Um, it's feeling like yesterday, someone leaving money behind making a choice, um, it's like a brainwave, it's um, something shocking, somebody can't go that way. Somebody can't go where they were planning on going and they're just realizing this and they're making a decision, they're making better decisions. Somebody might have made bad decisions in the past, now they're making a better decision. Um, it could be turning off their heart to something, to someone, um, it could be uh, Scorpio. I just forgot what the world is. Um, definitely a water sign is uh, upset. Or a Scorpio is upset about someone's choice. Choice. All right. At the root of this, you have the star in the upright. Wow. Someone is healing. Someone's watering something. Something's watering their own. Someone's watering themselves. Someone is, um, someone could have neglected themselves here and now they're starting to water themselves. And there's, I don't know, it's like they're, they're healing themselves and they're getting some kind of huge, huge downloads or like it really does feel like something coming from those clouds, like lightning and striking right in the heart of someone. And it turns something off. It turns um, an, an admiration off. Um, it also is turning some kind of spell off that was that they were drowning in. So yeah, so there's healing. There's someone really realizing who the heck they are. Like, wow. Like, it's like a lightning bolt from God. They're throwing someone off. Somebody's falling out of that tower. I just noticed that actually two people are coming out of that tower. Like they're getting ejected by that lightning bolt from God or something like that. Who might have made some kind of decision. But I think God is within us. I think we're all God. Each one of us, all of us together, we are. So it's an internal realization, a shocking one. Mm. But a healing one. And their inspiration is to turn off the tap in some way, to stop watering this world in the reverse.
that is a workplace accident that is um, a relationship issue. Stop watering some kind of relationship issue. Something that might not go anywhere. Um, someone's definitely turning their back on something that's not working, a workplace or a relationship thing. They're turning the tap off. Um, and they're healing. They're, they're healing from something. Something that was very unequal. It's right beside the Four of Wands in the upright in the, in the recent past. So this... Somebody could be moving out of somewhere. Tower could be a move. Making a decision whether to move, whether I should um, leave this unequal situation for um, my healing and to shine my light. Like this is really shining your light. Like this is somebody coming out, um, broadcasting. This is... Somebody broadcasting, oh, it's somebody, I don't know what sign the star is. What sign is the star? Because there's somebody that's very famous here that's broadcasting a choice that they're making. They're turning the tap off on something else. They're making a very, very good choice. This is someone famous. This is someone that was in agreement with everybody on the surface before they were getting drained of energy or they were getting robbed or they weren't getting paid. They're making a different choice and they're coming out with it. All right. The outcome, the page of wands in the upright. That's a new beginning and a fresh start, a new endeavor. Somebody has a really awesome idea. Coming from definitely um, a higher place. Somebody's reaching a very high place within themselves and they're like a, a light bulb. They're like an idea generator. Um, it's like they look at things in a very unbiased way, like both sides of an idea or an argument or a debate are equal. Something just keeps going around and around and around and around. Um, something about just letting um, the things beside you, upsetting things, pass you by. This is going forward, going towards your own dreams, ignoring the shit in the world, the world in the reverse and the page of cups in the reverse. Um, people upset about mishaps, people upset about disagreements, people upset about all the shit that's happening. You're ignoring it. You're having a brainwave about ignoring it. Okay, I've got a story to tell. Um, last night, um, we were playing um, Radio Bingo, and this this is how exciting we are. <laughs> it's like a big thing, right? And um, so, yeah, so we're playing Radio Bingo, and they have breaks, right? Radio ad breaks or whatever. It's a country station. And I am so out of touch with, media like like advertisements like you know that you would have or that I would have heard on TV like back in the day that I kind of forgot how powerful they are I had to turn I had to turn my phone down it was playing on my phone and I had to turn my phone down because I felt like it was literally um like something contagious that I didn't want in my head I didn't want to hear it and the reason why I thought that was because we're playing bingo and, or after, like when we were taking the break and no, no, it was when we were playing bingo, but it was after one of those ads. And all of a sudden I started getting this horrible feeling of anxiety. Now this is going to sound like a huge stretch and it's going to sound crazy, but it's interesting. It's an interesting, um, idea, I guess. This was my personal little weird brainwave last night. So anyway, after hearing these really horrible, not horrible words, they're, they're saying perfectly normal things, I guess, if you're listening to them. Um, but the energy behind them felt very, very like a pushy, right? So we're playing bingo after that. And all of a sudden they start getting this anxiety and I swear I was having a past life memory. I kept feeling like the Nazis are coming. And I was aware enough to know that 
this is just some kind of strange anxiety that isn't real. Don't, you know, just push those thoughts away. Just, you know, play bingo and have fun. And um, so anyway, all of a sudden this thought occurred to me, do they, oh yeah, and one of the things was an ad um, for CBC, I guess, or maybe it's CTV, I don't know, some Canadian news with, uh, I know it's Lisa Laflamme. <laughs> she cracks me up. Anyway, the ad that came up repeatedly was her saying, oh, what was it? Now I can't even remember the words she used. Um, listen to whatever her show is at whatever time and and something like hear about the 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 steady barrage and she kept saying that like she wants people to have this vision in their head of a barrage of whatever sharp things pointy things right um things that hurt and that's what made me think or feel or intuit that the Nazis are coming. So I'm going somewhere with this, following along. Hopefully I make sense. What if we've all had these past lives, right? We've all gone through these horrors that they tell us that has happened in history. What if when they use certain words, it brings up that memory, right? Which makes you fearful, which makes you manifest it again. And that's what, quote, they want. Anyway, that was my brainwave last night. So back to the reading. This is somebody who is offering choices. This is someone who's saying, hey, people. This is also someone revealing um, hidden knowledge. And it's to put out some kind of destruction, some kind of... Um, instability in the world and also some kind of unfairness this is speaking to homes this is speaking to people um, in their home um, in their relationships or this is also the face of the world four of wands in the upright it's um it's everyone in agreement it's it's um it's trying to get people into an agreement. It's trying to get people on board to make better decisions, happier decisions, ignoring this this depth. This feels a little bit like a whirlpool into this abyss. And this base of this message is to heal and to shine like a star. This is something beneath you. You have a you have a star beneath you. Like shining on you. I don't know. Wow, oh, okay, we have the hanged man again in the same place as yesterday. So there's wow, that's pretty powerful. The star, the hanged man, and the tower with the page of wands and the upright above it. So it's something that is coming through someone. They're in the bathtub. And I think they they drag things into the bathtub. <laughs> All right, including the worst is the toilet paper. All right, um, so something is coming to something beautiful. It's also karma on this whirlpool of doom. In someone's intuition, they have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So that really feels like a landslide. And it feels like that hanged man is inside it. Somebody's waiting. Somebody's hoping. Somebody's... There's someone buried. There's someone buried. And this is them saying, hey, I'm buried in something. Like they're popping their head out of something. They're popping their head out of something that they're buried in, but they have hope to get out. They're they're stuck in a in a bad relationship that they're not um, feeling, and they're saying, "Hey there, 
And they're making a choice about, again, a relationship or a workplace, something where everybody's in agreement about some kind of inequality. So, I don't know. Bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone's going to quit a job or quit whatever they're buried under. Because they're, they're buried there for a reason. They're buried there to learn. They're learning. But there's something about the ground where they are. Like, it's coming up from the ground. And the earth, or sorry, the world beside them, that always feels like the green man to me. And he's in the reverse. So it's something open, something that's not completed yet. Somebody's not completed their transformation yet. They're... They're healing transformation, but they're saying something. Someone could be in a place where um, someone, a bunch of people are in agreement about taking their choice away from them, but they're figuring something out and they have a message. They're saying something. They could be waving goodbye, that they're making better decisions, that they're quitting this job where they're but they're not quite ready yet. Something's not quite complete yet. Or their fears are still, like they're making better decisions. They're seeing through some kind of vortex, negative vortex. They're seeing through it. They're popping out the top. They're making a choice. They could be finding people that agree with them or something like that. Um, how long am I going? I better hurry up. All right, let's put them all down. I'll try to do that. Three of swords in the reverse. So a three-party situation is no longer. Somebody is making a choice about a three-party situation. That three-party situation just keeps popping up all week. So, yeah, so that's um, a disagreement. Someone disagrees with someone's choice as well. But someone made it. They made it. It was hard. It was a really hard decision to make, but they didn't agree with some kind of choices of burying something or burying someone or sacrificing someone. Somebody knows something. They know about something, I don't know, like I keep seeing whirlpool or vortex, but there's karma that's coming to that and someone's making better decisions and they're quitting a job. All right, you have the chariot in the reverse on the page of cups in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody, somebody is, is um, they're having a fight to get out of this. It's like, it's really hard to get out of this whirlpool. They have to really fight for themselves. Like this is a very arrogant feeling card in the reverse it's um extreme independence like you're you're fighting for your life trying to get out of this whirlpool but their eyes are wide open and they completely disagree with some kind of choices could be their own choices to agree with something in the past but they're pulling their investment out of this some kind of landslide i don't understand science and it feels like it's sciency it feels like it's um it's to do with electricity it's to do with um things that i don't understand <laughs> okay so you have justice in the upright on the world in the reverse yeah this person is making a a very correct decision here going towards good karma someone's trying to get out of this whirlpool of bad karma by making better choices also this is something to do with positivity and this has something to do with manifesting so someone's trying to get out of the evil vortex and they're trying to climb out of this karmic landslide that they've caught themselves in that they're waking up from and they're healing from You have the fool in the reverse on the six of coins in the reverse. Okay, so that landslide, the fool in the reverse. Okay, so again, that somebody, it's feeling like this. It's like someone really kicking their feet, really 
Um, they really want to live. They really want to live. Somebody wants a second chance. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Somebody's like, don't let me die here. That's what I just heard. Somebody is, they really want to live. Um, this is like a very rebellious energy. This is, um, this is also doing something um, and going too far. And it's almost like they have to reach out to the people that are in agreement with some kind of sacrificial landslide and huge conflict that everybody's upset about. Um, somebody, so they are rising out of it. They are, they're making better decisions. They're doing something just, they're trying to, they're turning their back on whatever that element is that wants to hurt the world. They're trying to get out, but they're having a hard time getting out. So maybe all they can do is get a message out because it feels like they're trapped. No, no, Bluebell, go that way, baby, go that way. No, no, go that way, keep going. No, no, goodbye, no. Go on, go on. Go play with your bandit brothers. Go, go ahead. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. All right. The seven of cups in the reverse on the two of coins in the upright. upright. She's still sitting there. Go, get, get. There you go. All right, seven of cups in the reverse. Okay, so that's on making a decision. It's, they don't know what to do. Their options are limited. They want to plan for marriage and good times. I feel like they were very, very, very confused when they agreed to something, um, whether in a relationship or with a workplace setting. This is like a house or a building. Um, it's something that looks really good from the outside. It's the face. It It's... They figured out, yeah, they were under an illusion. They were making choices that they now regret because they were under an illusion. And now they're making choices, difficult choices, to end some kind of three-way thing or some kind of um, hidden secret dealings. If this is in the boardroom, not the bedroom, now they see the truth and they are, they're, they're trying to get out. They're scrambling to get out because they're buried. They owe a bunch or something or somebody has something over them, but they're getting very smart and they're literally healing themselves. And somebody has been absolved or they're at peace. Like they, they've, They've done something to stop it, to stop some kind of whirlpool, some kind of vortex, some kind of destruction. Um, but they're stuck in it. They're still stuck in it, but they're aware, they're healing. Um, they see the truth. They're scrambling to get out. They're making a very good karmic decision to quit this job. Wow, holy, they are exposing everything. You have the sun in the upright. So their message up here, they're coming out with a message of exposure and something is making them very, very happy or they're making a lot of people happy. This is a huge, this is a star. This is a star that's been hanging around that hasn't been really saying anything or has been saying what everybody wants them to say but internally, they're trying to get out. This is their plan. They're making a plan. They have, they're making a new decision. They don't agree with something. Um, they're coming out with a huge broadcast, a huge message of exposure. And this is, their, their motivation is planning for fun times and marriage and independence, extreme independence, trying to get out of that vortex whirlpool on karma in the upright 
The Four of Cups in the Upright. Yeah, that's a rejection energy that's also um, boring. It's boredom. It's safety. It's, um, oh, that feels nice. It feels like, um, it also feels like protection. They, somebody is literally going to the light, happy side, the healed side. Also, they're going to other people that are in agreement with them. Stability, two fours. Um, oh, I was just going somewhere with that. And I lost it. Someone made it to the safe zone by quitting something. Somebody is now safe, karmically safe, very independent. They've been absolved from something. They sacrificed themselves for something and it healed them and it absolved them. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. Um, on the star in the upright, you have the eight of cups in the reverse. Yeah, they're doing something for their, um, their personal happiness. They're returning to something and that's them trying. They're, they can't get out of this freaking landslide. So they're exposing the whole thing from the inside. But they're returning to something, to the beginning. that they, they went too far in some way. They did, they went too far, they went in something and they went too far and they got stuck. And now they're, now they're trying to get out and they're stuck in it. So they're exposing it. They're making some kind of huge broadcast. This is like a famous person going back to their roots in some way. Um, on the four of wands in the upright, you have the two of wands in the reverse. Surprise, that's a surprise. There's a surprise coming out of this safe, um, I just heard corporation, um, there's a surprise coming out of the middle of something. They, someone has also broken alliance. It's, it's, um, it's something big, it's something famous, it's somebody returning to their roots, it's somebody that was playing along and now they're breaking alliance and they're going, they're saving themselves karmically. That's what they're doing by quitting this job or this corporation or this alliance or this merger or something. They're, they're breaking away from it, um, but they're stuck inside. So they need to make some kind of broadcast saying, I'm not doing this anymore. They're making it public. So the whole thing will fall apart because they can't get out from in it until the whole thing comes out or the whole thing crumbles. They're crumbling something from the inside. All right, your last card is the Ace of Swords in the upright. So this is something extreme. This is an extreme truth. This is pointing right at that Three of Swords. So that Three of Swords in the reverse, it's feeling like a fight. It's feeling like a... Um, like, uh, Someone's very bad decision. Um, they're telling the truth about somebody's. I I don't I don't want to say deception. But that is it. There, but I, there's a better word for it. Let me go back. Okay, now you have the devil in the upright, in what you don't see coming. Eight of coins in the reverse, quitting, quitting a job. Someone's making better decisions. They're feeling very, very safe. They're feeling um, comfortable. They're feeling comfortable. Somebody has quit working for somebody very controlling um, or somebody has stopped working for the devil. Um, Somebody has successfully 
kept themselves out of that whirlpool, they've been absolved, they're karmically safe, they're independent, they have a message that they're broadcasting, but I'm not picking up what that devil's there for. The devil represents animal instincts, um, obsession, materialistic, Capricorn, why does it feel like, it, it feels like, it could be them re just rejecting the devil with that four of cups, but that's not what it feels like, I'm missing something. Um, all right, so your message from spirit, the three of swords in the reverse and the tower in the upright. So somebody seriously disagrees with something. They seriously disagree with someone's choices and they're broadcasting it. It's, it's a, this is a message of beautiful news, beautiful news. Somebody famous is going back to their roots, they're speaking the truth, they've been thinking a long time, they're stuck in something, they're stuck in it, they're stuck in this thing, this destruction, this destructive force, this destructive whirlpool, vortex, whatever it is. They're making a better decision, they're, they're getting absolved by this decision that they're making. They're getting karmically protected This person is trying to get out of this vortex, kicking with all their might, they're safe. They're safe, but it, it, <laughs> it feels like the devil is protecting them. They're quitting their job. So take that whatever way you want to, but um, the devil is not feeling like evil, it's feeling like organic. Um, someone's trying to hurt the world and this is re representing the organic world, like the actual world. This is feeling like someone's trying to hurt the earth. Someone's making a, a decision to not go along with something that they're in. It's like a big organization that they're in and they can't get out. So they're making this huge statement. They're going back to their organic roots. Um, there, There is a lot, I mean, if you guys wanna read up on it, um, Maybe I won't sound so confusing, but there, if you go back to, how do I say this really fast? Cause I know I'm going so long. Um, I'm confused about who the devil is. I'm confused about who God is. Um, but one thing that I did notice was that Zoroasterism, I think that's the first religion, um, in their religion, and I think it started in Persia, I'm not sure. But anyway, in there, and I could be wrong because I, I have a really, I read all these things and I, I only remember bits and pieces most of the time. Um, Zoroasterism, I think, was the predecessor of Buddhism. And Buddhism called devils Devi. And they it's like they took the Zoroasterism religion and flipped it from then on for every single religion, or probably most of them. Anyway, in the Zoroasterism religion, Devis were the gods. So I'm confused because the more I read, the more confused I get. So that's why I don't always see the devil as the devil. Sometimes I see the devil as the original God. So let's just stop it there. All right, I love you guys. Uh, I hope that made sense to someone and uh, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.